Millions of Americans are witnessing freezing rain and frigid temperatures in much of the United States. The Arctic blast flowing from Canada gripped much of the country, ending a nearly two-year snow drought. While visuals show heavy snow blanketing roads, driveways and streets that brought many cities in the country to a near standstill. Temperatures have also affected the political campaigns, sports events and travel across the country. New York governor has cautioned residents to stay at home after sub-freezing temperatures were recorded. She warned that the weather could get far worse while urging the residents to not step out. The storm is not over. It could have been far worse but it's still not a safe conditions to go out. So we want to make sure people, if you can continue staying home. The Arctic blast has led to power outages for hundreds of thousands of customers in the Northeast and Pacific Northwest. More than 85,000 homes and businesses were left without power on Tuesday. Several residents across the country have captured the near freezing temperature in their respective regions. And here is one of the visuals that captured the sight of a large cloud of water vapor hovering over Lake Michigan, seen from Chicago. Uh, I'm not out in the cold for that long a period, but you know, this thing on my neck is helpful. I got two sweaters on, made in Peru, where it must be pretty cold too, and uh, it seems good enough for uh, the short amount. Freezing rain and sleet is expected to continue across parts of southeast U.S. Winter storm warnings were in effect for Lawrence, Limestone and Madison counties in Alabama and in Franklin County in Tennessee, southeast Arkansas, northeast Louisiana and much of northern, central and southwest Mississippi. Now these extreme conditions are forecast to persist. Moderate temperatures are expected midweek, but a new surge of cold air is predicted to drop south over the northern plains and midwest, reaching the deep south by the end of the week.